What's up, YouTube? Today's my birthday. 45 years old today. And for the past few months, I've been thinking about what do I want to be when I grow up? Still not sure. And in many ways, I've been a lot of different things over the many years, and I'm not sure what the next season's going to bring. But in my reflection, I have to admit that one of the greatest things that has happened to me in these 45 years has been the inclusion of YouTube in my life. You know, it came out in 2007, the exact same time that I started my own business. And without YouTube, uh, my life would not look the way it is today. And I'm incredibly grateful. One of the things that you guys have been following me since that time, I know there are many of you that have been following my channel since it was, you know, old, fat, young, fat, strong man, Elliot, right? Gosh. So I must have been like 20, 27 years old, 26, 27 years old, I'm 45 now. So long time. One of the things that you guys who have been following me all that time have noticed is that I've changed and I go into different realms of interest. There are different things that interest me and I can't help myself as, a, as an Aries, as a ADD sort of dude. Uh, I get shiny object syndrome or better yet, I follow rabbit holes. There are just interests that pop up in my life. I don't know if it's God calls me to these interests or it's just my intellectual curiosity, but there are just things that resonate deeply with me that in many instances don't resonate with you. <laughs> and so I started this channel because I loved fitness. I still do. I love straw man. I mean, you see my Atlas stone over there. I mean, I'm standing in my gym, you know, regardless of what I've spoken about with you two over these years, uh, like I'm still back at the square one, you know, I'm in, I'm in my gym. It all starts with the body for me, you know, I'm a, I'm a body guy and that leads to things like bioenergetics, right? I've made tons of videos about bioenergetics. I practically became well known in fitness and on YouTube because of my bioenergetic videos. Uh, and I love spirituality, I love philosophy, I love religion, I love, I love family, I love marriage, I love, I love health. I love God, I love nature, I love, I love life. I have loved life, I love life. I just have an excitement for life and everything that life has to offer. Sometimes I lament and I say to my wife in a joking way, I just wanna know everything, I just wanna know everything. I'm excited about everything and it can be overwhelming. Absolutely can be overwhelming. It's sort of a flaw. But when I find something that I'm interested in, I don't go halfway. You guys know that, you recognize that in me. I don't dabble, I go deep. And I'll go deep for a season, and then maybe I'll pull back and I'll find something else that I'm really interested in. And one of the things I'm starting to notice is I reach my middle age is that I circle back to things. There are things that maybe I was really motivated and excited about and it eclipsed and I went on to other things, but then circle back around and it's like, hey, this beautiful jewel, I kind of forgot this was here. Kind of like bioenergetics uh, at the end of last year. I made a bunch of videos about bioenergetics once again after not speaking about it for a very long time. I was just coming out of a season where I was studying the catechism of the Catholic Church and reading the Bible and really diving into understanding Christianity from a historical context, from a deeply spiritual context. Um, these things don't go away. I just find different interests to talk about. And it's all been possible for, for me to share these things because of YouTube. And I've had seasons where I don't share. I have seasons where I don't make videos. And it's, I don't know if it's a chicken or an egg situation, but during those seasons, I don't feel like myself. I feel depressed. I feel lost. I feel incomplete, like, 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 like I'm not doing what I was designed to do, right? Like a, like a, like a car that's, that's not driving or, to, or you're using it in the wrong way or, or a tool that you're, that you're not, that's just not being used. Let me just put it that way. Like I'm a, like God has created me for a particular thing and you for a particular thing. Uh, and if you don't do it, if I don't do it, then I'm depressed. And I might just decide that I'm tired of doing it or bored with doing it or emotionally 
unstable, so I decide not to do it. Pained, hurt, you know, upset, sad, disappointed. Many different reasons why I decide not to express myself through these videos at various seasons, particularly over the past 12 years. And I've circled back right now, and if you've noticed the past few weeks, probably since the beginning of this year, I've been just more and more grateful for the opportunity to, to talk to you through these videos. The fact that the technology makes it so easy now. I, I talk on my phone. Back in the day, I used to have to get a camera and do it. And it makes me think that this next season that I'm stepping into might have a lot to do with encouraging you to express yourself if that's what God is calling you to do. I don't believe everybody needs to be on YouTube. I don't believe everybody needs to be a creator. I don't believe everybody needs to be a coach. I don't believe everybody's sent here to inspire and motivate and teach and coach and consult hundreds, thousands, or millions of people through YouTube. And, and that's not saying that there are, those aren't good people or the people that do it are good people. It's to say that we're all different and we're called differently. We're called for different, we're called for different things. We're called to do different things, think different ways, and to serve in different ways. But those of you who are called, those of you guys who have that sense inside, that calling that maybe you should be speaking up more, making videos, creator, being a creator, being a prophet, being a, a, a help to someone in their life because of something that you can share. And maybe you do that already with your coworkers. Maybe you do that already with your friends. Maybe you do that already with your, your fellow students at school. But maybe you could reach more people if you had the courage and the charisma to get in front of the camera. That's a little bit about what this video is intended for. It's to call those out who have been called to get off the couch, turn on the camera, and make some noise in this world that desperately needs your message. Some of the emails that I've been receiving since making videos, uh, encouraging those of you who are called to make videos, uh, are a little disheartening for me sometimes because I see that it's just a simple lack of self-esteem or a lack of courage or, or, or lack of motivation to do the thing that you're called to do. I was speaking with my daughter actually yesterday and speaking with her about what she wants to do when she grows up. And she, she wants to be a creator. And I'm like, all right, so what are you going to do today? She's like, well, you know, I've been thinking about it for a while. All right, well, what are you going to do today? Well, you know, I'll keep thinking about it. I was like, no, babe, I want to tell you just like I tell the people who email me or the people who comment on my videos or the people who reach out, get up and get going right now. Upload today, upload today. Film and upload, film and upload, film and upload. Because you're not going to get good at the thing until you do the thing. You do the thing to have the power. You do video creation to be a creator. And as you do it, your skills will evolve. As you take action in something, you'll see, oh, wow, this could be done better. Oh, wow, I'm really good at this part. I didn't know I had this gift. I didn't know that I had this ability. I didn't realize that I was lacking in this ability or this area. But you gotta do the thing in order to polish it up. You gotta get off the couch and get going if it's going to ever be anything good. It doesn't happen between your ears. It doesn't happen in your mind. It's good to spark the idea. It's good to get it going in your mind. It's good to think about it, but the thinking must end at some point. And so this video, besides letting you know that it's my birthday, is also a call to action. I recently created a course. It's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a full course. It's a powerful course called YouTube Cashflow Blueprint. I gave it a fancy marketing name, Cashflow, because there is cash flow available with the model that I'll share with you. It's how I've made a living for the past almost 20 years. Um, but I want you to have it. And because it's my birthday, I'm, I, I, I took it out of my King for Life Mastermind program where you know, I create exclusive courses for those guys. And I'm making it available to you this week only for seven fucking bucks, basically giving it away. And look, if you're not called, if this is not your cup of tea, if it's not right for you to drop seven bucks to get a full course on how to 
not just get off your ass and get in front of the camera and make some content, but follow your true calling, follow your bliss, follow the voice within that's telling you, speak up, we need you. Creators, we need to stand together. Creators, we need you to speak up. Creators need to express themselves, not just for themselves, not just for your livelihood, but for all the people that you'll reach, all the people that you're gonna help, all the people that are desperately waiting for you. And you gotta understand that there are people that are waiting for you. They may not know you yet, you don't know them yet, but because of some sort of resonance that certain people are going to have with just you, they're literally, their soul is waiting and craving for you to step up and speak so that you can get in front of that person. Not everybody resonates with me, and I understand that. They're not supposed to. And you're not going to resonate with every other creator, but sometimes you turn on this camera. I'm sorry, sometimes you turn on YouTube, and there just happens to be a particular video from a certain person that has a word that really shifts things for you. That person was your one. That person was set there in order to bring something new into your life, wake you up and show you a new possibility. And you might be that person for someone else. So this birthday for Uncle E, his 45th, I'm encouraging you. Get up, get off the couch, get in front of the camera and start expressing yourself. And if you need a roadmap, you need a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of motivation, a little bit of wisdom from a guy who's been doing it for almost 20 years, click the link down below and get my $7 YouTube cash flow blueprint. It's as simple as that. That's my birthday gift to you. And I know it will be of support to you. I know it will help you. I know it'll be good. And I know that if you are one of the called, one of the chosen ones that you and I, we're gonna meet. We're gonna to be together. Because like I said, today on my 45th birthday and over the past few months, the sense that I've been given, the sense that I've been getting is that the next season is all about supporting creators to become kings. Done.